Every single day before we get our shows underway here in the stockyards, we want to make sure that we pay tribute to this great nation that we all are a part of. So at this time, if I could have you guys rise and remove your cover for the playing of our national anthem.
Our percentage Charlay Junior Heifer Show is now underway. In the ring at this time is now going to be class 201. These are heifer calves. We have a single entry in this class. Entry 1276. This is Vanilla Bean from Jet Jameson of Lusk, Wyoming. Well, good morning. It's a pleasure for me to be here, and it's an honor to judge a great breed of cattle. We're going to start off with some single entries here. We'll just have this young gentleman head out and set his heifer up. We're starting with a May heifer calf, and this heifer is all power to me. She's big rib, big hip, very flexible in her stride, just a really high-quality individual. She's very developed in her uh, maturity right now, and I maybe like to freshen her up in her condition for her age, but this is a power heifer that looks great. Thank you. The results from class 201 of Percentage Charlay Junior Heifers. First place goes to entry 1276 from Jet Jameson. We will now bring into the ring class 201B. These will be heifer calves. We have a single entry within class 201B. This is entry 1277 from Schrader's MS Vivian. This is coming from Weston Schrader of Wells, Kansas. On this second class, another single entry. This one's a little bit different speed. This heifer is uh, more feminine and fresher in her design. A, re a real nice cow look to her. She's pretty nervous out here. Um, so she, when she's traveling, I think she's fighting, fighting herself a little bit. She's a little in her hocks as she's walking away from me. But this is a really nicely designed female. Very feminine, fresh, and cowy. Just a nice female. Thank you.
The results coming out of Class 201B. First place entry at 1277 from Weston Schrader. Coming into the ring at this time will now be Class 201C of Heifer Calves. We have entry 1278, that is Mountain Live a Little, from McKenna Tucker of Briggsdale, Colorado. And we have entry 1280, that is Lenore from Laney Farnsworth of Altamount, Utah. These two heifers are kind of on the different ends of the spectrum, and I prefer the more feminine heifer that's more right in her structure, particularly through her uh, front knee structure and how she, as when she's coming at me, she has more chest floor. She sets her front feet down more accurately, and I think she's a little better footed in her shape size. I really appreciate the body and the squareness of hip of the second heifer. She definitely has more power and shape to her, but I'm gonna go with the more feminine heifer that I think has a little more cow potential, a little fresher in her design. Thank you. The results coming out of class 201C. In second place, entry 1280 from Laney Farnsworth. And your class winner is entry 1278 from McKenna Tucker. Coming into the ring at this time is now going to be Class 201D. These are heifer calves within your percentage junior heifer calf show. We have two entries in this class. We have entry 1281, which is Topanga from Lizzie Schaefer. And your other entry coming into Class 201D is entry 1282. This is Carbine Crystal from Kaysen Carlson.
There's two really quality heifers in this class, and I commend both these exhibitors. Both these heifers are fighting them a little bit, but we talk about people that like power and stoutness in their cattle, and we talk some people like them really feminine and super good looking and with a lot of cow look, and I think the heifer that wins this class kind of puts both those characteristics together. This is a super cowy, sound, deep-bodied one that's got a lot of presence and eye appeal, and she's real flexible on the move. Really nice heifer. The second heifer, I think, is also a very feminine heifer. I think she's got a lot of great qualities about her. She's really straight in her lines, long and level in her hip, and I think her pin placing is more correct than the heifer that wins the class. This heifer just gets outpowered today, doesn't have quite the bone foot, the bone and foot as the heifer that wins her in the muscle shape, especially from the side, but it's certainly a very high quality heifer that's very feminine in her own right. Thank you. Your results for class 201D of heifer calves in second place entry 1282 from Case and Carlson. Your class winner is 1281 from Lizzie Schaefer. At this time, we will now bring back our class winners from 201A through D, and our judge will select your champion and reserve champion percentage junior heifer calves. All well, the start of this show is a little small, but I think it's pretty high on quality. There's some different types and kinds out here, but I think there's quality from top to bottom. I'm going to pick my uh, champion in reserve. Let's give these exhibitors a big round of applause for doing a nice job and bringing a really good set of cattle out here. Thank you.
Your champion junior heifer calf in the percentage division comes out of class 201D. That is entry 1281 from Lizzie Schaefer. Rolling into consideration will be the second place from class 201D. That'll be entry 1282 from Casey Carlson. Your reserve percentage junior heifer calf comes out of class 201A, that is entry 1276 from Jet Jamison. Coming into the ring at this time is now going to be class 203. This is going to be summer yearling heifers within our percentage intermediate heifer division. Class 203 is the only class within the division. So first place within class 203 will become your champion intermediate percentage heifer. In this class 203, we have entry 1285. This is ALAP Vanilla Ice from Hollis Fawcett of Rehide, South Dakota. So I think this one's a little bit of a unicorn in that she's got all the power and stoutness and cowiness in the world, yet she's super attractive and flexible in her movement. You know, I'm, usually when you see one that's this tight-throated and doesn't have maybe quite enough jaw in them, you think they're going to be kind of hard doing and maybe not in a little higher maintenance as they go off to make cows. But this is a really solid, stout one that's got a lot of rib and fleshing ability, but she's still flexible in her movement. Really nice individual. Your results from class 203, first place entry 1285 from Hollis Fawcett. She becomes your champion percentage intermediate heifer from Hollis. At this time, we will now bring back our division winners, and our judge will select your grand champion and reserve grand champion percentage Charlotte heifers. Over in your south show ring, we now have our Kia Nina show. We have our junior Key Angus female show starting, and that is class 201. These are Key Angus heifers calved April of 2023. Within this class, we have three entries. We have entries from Braden Smalley, Raymond Benneker, and Elliston Mori. These are the three entries that will make up class 201. This is the only class within the division. So first and second within class 201 of your key Angus female show will become your champion and reserve champion late junior heifer calves.
Uh, there's some great individuals out here. I commend these exhibitors in this uh, first division. I think there's a little bit difference in types and kinds between my champion heifer calf and the, and the intermediate. Um, but I both, I think they're really good in their own right. I think we gotta analyze these cattle from the ground up and see where they're at today and look at development because maybe one of these has crossed more hurdles than the other one. The other one may have just as much upside. I'm gonna go ahead and pick my champion, but there's two really good individuals and my reserve I think is very nice as well. Thank you. Your grand champion percentage heifer comes from the intermediate division. That is entry 1285 from Hollis Fawcett of Rehite, South Dakota. Your reserve grand champion percentage Charlay heifer is your champion junior heifer calf. That is entry 1281 from Lizzie Schaefer from Illinois. At this time, we will now pause for pictures at the backdrop with our judge. And then we will continue on with our junior heifer show for our purebreds I believe at this time after our pictures are done with our official photographers at the backdrop. The official 2024 Legacy Livestock Imaging is the photographers of the National Western. As we get started over here on this south ring, uh, oh, what a nice group of females get us going this morning. A uh, young man's heifer up front. Uh, I think for me, uh, just being the neatest there about her head and neck and good about her chest floor, uh, she reads the best in terms of her body shape and her lower rib cage as we study there back. You know, maybe not the longest and squarest there out of her hip, but I think she handles it just fine. Reads the most coordinated there about her feet and legs. Uh, certainly a nice, big-footed, heavy-structured heifer for there coming in too. Uh, she's wide and has some power, uh, maybe a little bit rounder there out of her hip and not quite the same sweep to that lower rib cage as the one that precedes her, but certainly a lot of good cow power in that female. Probably the neatest looking heifer and best attachment there from her shoulder uh, into her neck and head comes here in third. Uh, today in this class maybe just gets a little out horse, maybe not be uh, quite as mature today, uh, but I like those three a good bit. Congratulations to those three individuals on a fun division. Your results for class 201 in your Key Angus Heifer Show. Third place goes to entry 1361 from Elliston Mori. Second place goes to entry 1360 from Raymond Menneker. And your class winner, entry 1359 from Braden Smalley. First and second within class 201 become your champion and reserve champion late junior heifer calves. In the ring at this time is now class 202. These are key Angus heifers calved of February of 2023. We have a single entry in this class. We have an entry from Mackenzie Klimkowski. This is the only entry within the class, the only class in the division. So this will become your champion early junior heifer calf. Just a single entry in this class, but uh, I think the quality is immense. Uh, a female that has a striking look there from that profile, uh, really good about her throat, level in terms of her spine, an awesome out of a square hip, highly presented female that I think brings uh, a tremendous amount of quality. You get behind the cattle, maybe not quite as stout and powerful as I personally like, but I still think there's a lot of good left and a neat profile there in that individual. Congratulations. Your results for class 202 of Key Angus Heifers. First place and your champion early junior heifer calf. That is entry 1362 for Mackenzie Klementkowski. At this time, we will now bring into the ring class 203. Class 203 will be Key Angus Heifers calved of August of 2022. In class 203, we have entry 1363, also from Mackenzie Klemkowski. This is the only entry within the class and the only class within the division. So therefore, first place of class 203 will become your champion summer yearling.
Another single entry here on the key side, and I think a really nice individual. Uh, you talk about big feet and heaviness and structure underneath her, uh, allowing that female to carry uh, a lot of mass up high and power. Uh, she's level and good in her spine, long there out right of her hip. For me, maybe lean her up just in terms of condition ever so slightly, uh, but still there's a lot of neat things tied together and a good heifer there. Congratulations to you. Your results for class 203, first place in your champion summer yearling entry 1363 from McKinsey Klimkowski. At this time, we will now bring back our division winners, and our judge will select your grand champion and reserve grand champion, Key Angus Females. As we bring these key Angus females back out here, uh, uh, might only have three uh, class winners and division champs, but uh, I think the quality was good throughout, uh, especially from the young calf to the middle uh, there to the oldest. But let's go ahead and put our hands together for uh, these exhibitors. We'll go show you the two we like. Uh, congratulations to you guys. Your grand champion, Key Angus Female, comes from your first division. That is your champion from the late junior heifer calf division. That is entry 1359 from Braden Smalley. We will roll into consideration the reserve from that division. That will be entry 1360 from Raymond Benneker. Your reserve grand champion, Key Angus Female, comes from your summer yearling division. That is entry 1363 from McKenzie Klimkowski. Back over to our North Show Ring, we now have our Charlotte Junior Heifer Show underway with our purebred Junior Heifer Calves. We have in the ring at this time now Class 101A of Heifer Calves. This is entry 1287. This is Lee Charlie's Angel from Kix Lee of Gilman, Arkansas. This is the only entry within Class 101A.
And we'll let, let this heifer calf lead out. This is a really nice heifer calf to start the purebred division. She's very feminine and maternal through her front end, yet she's got a lot of dimension to her rib and her shape to her top. She does have a lot of dimension to her top and it's pretty big hip. She's kind of overreaching this morning, but I think that's mostly because she's fighting the halter. She may look a little tighter in her top. I'd like to see this heifer sit out here and relax a little bit, but I think she's a super nice heifer. Thank you. Your results from class 101A of heifer calves in your Charlay show. First place entry 1287 from Kicks Lee. At this time, we will now bring in to the ring class 101B. These are heifer calves with a date of birth ranging from April 5th through April 22nd of 2023. We have in this class entries from McGuire Rohr, J.D. Ledoux, Sidney Allard, Maddie Kruger, Jacob Laurie, and Matson Keppen. These are the entries that will make up class 101B of your Charlay Junior Heifer Show.
I'll let both these uh, top two heifers lead out here. I think this is a really nice class. There's some challenges to get through because there's definitely some types and kind. And I'm going to use one that's uh, probably a little more maternal in her look. She probably could use more shape down low, but she's very green and fresh in her condition. Her structure is impeccable on the move. I like her flexibility. Yes, she does need a little more power from behind, but she's fairly adequate from hooks to pins as far as width. But the way she moves, her presence, how green she is, how fresh she is, I think she's going to make a really nice yearling. But structure... On two, two, two really good individuals on the top, I think structure through her front end is really what separates because there's definitely more power top and hip in this uh, little nicer haired heifer in second place. I would just like to set her uh, front legs down more correctly. She's a little in her knees and out in her toe, and she doesn't move with the, quite, the gracefulness and the flexibility of the heifer that wins the class, but definitely has a power advantage. Another really good one coming in third that is, does got a lot of dimension and power to her top and hip and a lot of width from hooks to pins. I would just, I think this heifer's struggling in her front end a little bit as she's coming at me. She's pretty pigeon toed. I'd like to see her just a little more correct as she's moving out, especially as she's coming from me, but three really good individuals. We got a real power heifer coming here in uh, fourth. She definitely has the class advantage in volume, weight per day of age and performance, and is a good individual in her own right. I would just like to see her a little more femininity and class and, uh, and female look to her compared to the heifers in front of her, but certainly a big power heifer. And some guys are really gonna like this heifer down the road, but the biggest thing on her for me today, she's really tight in her rear ankle. She needs to get set that rear ankle down with more flexibility, just get more comfortable on it today. And she probably could have moved up because I do like her uh, volume and her doing ability. A nice heifer here coming in uh, the next hole. Very feminine, fresh in design. Just gets kind of outpowered today, but I think she has kind of a class advantage. A little more maternal look compared to the heifer that's coming in next. That definitely has a lot of shape and dimension. She just needs to be a little more feminine. We need to loosen this heifer up a little bit. Thank you. Your results coming out of class 101B when your Charlet show, sixth place, Entry 1295 from Jacob Lorry. Fifth place, entry 1289 from McGuire Rohr. Fourth place, entry 1296 from Madison Keppen. Third place, entry 1290 from J.D. Ledoux. Second place, entry 1293 from Sidney Allard. And your class winner, entry 1294 from Maddie Kruger. Coming into the ring at this time is now class 101C of Heifer Caps. Over in your South Show ring for your Junior Kia Nina female show. We now have in the ring class 101. These are key heifers calved April of 2023. We have two entries in this class. We have an entry from Colton Wynn and Morgan Baker. Over on the key side, uh, just two in this class. We're going to leave them the way they come in. Young man up front is going to go ahead and start. And, you know, I think uh, just look-wise, uh, she comes with a little bit more body, a little bit more power, and just readiness today. Uh, the way she gets out and goes and pulls herself together when the young man gets this one presented. Do I call her the tallest shoulder and, and most extended up front? Probably not. Uh, that's the only thing I'd probably change is just rise that shoulder up a little bit, allow her to be more comfortable out of that front seat skeleton. However, that's going to come in next. Uh, still has some big feet and some heaviness of structure. Uh, maybe just not as soft in terms of a rib cage for me. We need to soften her up there. Maybe read her a nickel more athletic out of those rear two as we go. Well, that's a nice class of two to get us started in this key show. Congratulations to you two. The results from class 101 of your Kia Nina heifers in second place entries 1370 from Morgan Baker. Your class winner is entry 1369 from Colton Wynn. At this time, we will now come up with class 102 of key heifers. These heifers were calved March of 2023. We have three entries slated for this class. We have an entry from Josie Wilkins, Kinsley Helbrins, and Hadley Dunklau. These are the three entries that will make up class 102 of key Anina heifers.
we get a class of three here on the key side, and we get right into it. Uh, uh, the individual that's going to start this class uh, presented to a T. Uh, you love that one. So fresh, so stout and good in terms of her feet and legs underneath her. When the young lady gets that one set up. She offers a striking look there from the side. Love the way she bounces up and pulls herself together. There's no question there's a lot of potential in this one. In second, she's got tremendous cow power, sits down on big feet, really gets out and flexes that joint work like you want to. Maybe just not quite as fresh and neat about that head and neck, and really that's the separating difference for me amongst the two. Heifer that's going to come in third. Today she maybe just doesn't come quite as soft and easy feeding there in terms of her lower rib cage. Uh, we soften that one up. I think she matches in terms of feet and leg ability there at the surface as we get out and motor. We just got to see her a little softer, a little bigger rib there underneath. But that's a fun class of three. Let's put our hands together for those juniors. Your results from class 102 of your Key Anina Heifers. Third place goes to entry 1373 from Josie Wilkins. Second place, entry 1374 from Kinsley Hillbrands. And your class winner, entry 1375 from Hadley Dunklau. At this time, we will now bring back our class winners for our judge to select your champion and reserve champion late junior heifer calves. Another really nice class. I really commend these exhibitors. There's some different types and kind and cattle out here. And I have uh, always been a big believer that size and performance is kind of specific to a lot of people's uh, own operations. So I kind of let frame float and performance float. I'm more looking at quality, female look to them, soundness, and how I think they're going to project down the road as cows, because these young exhibitors, we're all trying to chase banners, we're trying to win, but in the end, we want these females that will make you an impact on your herd and your future in the end. I really like the female that starts this class. She's probably not the biggest hip heifer in the world, but you get on her, she's got a really cow look at her. I really like the design in her knee and her structure. She gets around, she's a little bigger in her frame, but she's got a tremendous amount of depth in rib, and I like the sweep to her belly. The bottom of her rib cage is below her brisket. It's just a really nice, cowy, sound one that may be a little bigger for some people, but this is a good one. The next one has a striking look and presence and probably has the most just really just pizzazz and look to her of any. I just like to maybe, she's a little uncomfortable in her front end and her knee structure right now, how she stands. I think a lot of that is because she's greener and she's uh, going to have a lot of big future in her. But two really good heifers that are definitely a little different in their type and kind. I appreciate both of them. A real stout one coming out next. I appreciate the depth and rib, the depth of body in this heifer and her, how she is in her fore rib. I just didn't think she has quite the front end femininity and the flexibility of the heifers in front of her. A nice one here, and I mean, a heifer like this, standing in fourth hole may be just a little hard to take as an exhibitor. This heifer just is a little tubular in her body shape compared to the, I'd like to give her more spring and arch to her rib today compared to the heifers in front of her. A nice heifer here, I just think she's a little uncomfortable in her movement. We just gotta free this one up a little bit, but a nice heifer. Over here on the key side, uh, we get to pick our first division. And, you know, I know they're young heifer calves, and, and cattle don't always want to act quite right when we get through the ring the first few times. So uh, we take that with a grain of salt and just try to evaluate the livestock. I think all four of these individuals out here from those couple classes are extremely good. Let's go ahead and put our hands together uh, for these four juniors. We'll show you the two that I like. Over in your key show, your champion late junior heifer calf comes out of class 102. That is entry 1375 from Hadley Dunklau.
Your reserve late junior heifer calf will also come out of that same class of 102. That is entry 1374 from Kinsley Hillbrands. Over in your Charlet show ring, your results coming out of class 101C. Fifth place, entry 1303 from Sarah Barron. Fourth place, entry 1299 from Madeline Rohr. Third place, entry 1306 from Cora Clift. Second place, entry 1300 from Jenna Talak. And your class winner, Entry 1308 from Weston Schrader. In the ring at this time is now Class 101D of Heifer Calves. We have entries in this class from Eliza Thane, Fallon Gore, Josie Schrader, Job Knight, Tatum Carlson, Jenna Talak, and Kelly Gaffney. That completes Class 101D. Over in your Kia Nina show, class 103 is in the ring. These are key heifers calved May of 2022. In this class, we have a single entry, entry 1380 from Skylar Coffee. Single entry here in this particular class, but I think an extremely uh, a good May female. Uh, you talk about one that offers a fresh and good look there from the side. You get to that front three-quarter angle. She's still got some body shape and spring to that rib up high, which I certainly appreciate the power there out of her hip. And then you get her out and go. She flexes her joint work like she needs to, hits the ground confident and secure uh, as she fills those holes. Congratulations on a nice individual. Your results from Class 103 within your key show. First place in your champion summer yearling is entry 1380 from Skylar Coffee. At this time, we will now bring in to the ring Class 104. Class 104 will be key heifers calved April of 2022. We have two entries in Class 104. We have entry 1383 from Trevor Williams and entry 1384 from Colton Wynn. These are the only two entries within the class, the only class within the division. So first and second within class 104 will become your champion and reserve champion elite spring yearlings.
As we get these two heifers out here on the key side, uh, uh, it's kind of a wash for me in terms of structure. I think they both get plenty upright in terms of the function of their shoulder uh, and maybe just aren't the most athletic in terms of the way they utilize their hip and hind legs. For me, we get past that and we study just body shape and dimension. That's where this uh, white-headed female is going to go ahead and start. I think she's better to the upper turn of her rib cage, has more sweep and, and slope there to the uh, center portion of her body underneath you get behind the cattle she's just stouter and wider all the way through and that's where uh, the line gets crossed for me where she needs to start heifer that's going to come in second I think from the side when the young man gets this one set up she's definitely more striking higher attaching and better in terms of the way she functions in her spine for me uh, she get to the three quarters she's flatter in her upper rib cage maybe just not as genuine in her overall width and dimension all the way through uh, two nice cattle we'd like to fix them both on either end of their skeleton. Congratulations to you guys. I'm really impressed with the quality of uh, cattle these exhibitors are bringing out. I applaud them and there is some differences in type and kind but these are good cattle from top to bottom and um, I think starting with a really nice pair of heifer calves to start. I just like the overall presence and stoutness of the heifer to, to start this class. I think she's just got a little more look, the way her neck comes out of the top of her shoulder. When on the move, I would like pick on her a little bit. I think she's dropping her pins a little bit on the move. But when she sits there, she gives you a great stop. I love the dimension to her hip and her shape, yet she's still very feminine with a great rib shape that's very natural, and she's still nice and trim in her, in her condition, a really good heifer. A little bit bigger top, deeper centered one here. I would just like to give this heifer a little uh, more flex to her rear hock, but two really high quality heifers. I have a feeling they're gonna be bumping heads for a long time in the future because they're both really good ones and they're more similar than they are dissimilar. Um, a nice heifer here. She come, I really like the length of her, her top and her flexibility and her squareness to her hip. She doesn't have quite the presence in her neck and her front end as she's coming out me. I'd just like to maybe make her a little more feminine um, just a nice heifer, just doesn't have quite the rib dimension and shape from the side and overall balance of the two heifers in front of her, but a good one. This is a nice heifer here. I think she's just really uh, honest overall. She has all the right shapes. She just gets kind of outpowered in this class. A, a heifer coming in next, you know, I, I think this heifer from the, when you first look at her, she's just etched out. You couldn't really draw one better, but when you get her on the move and how she travels, she's just too restricted in her travel for me, but a super nice heifer that's got a really nice design to her. Um, we got another heifer here. I like her length of top and her dimension. I just think she needs to have a little more maternal look for me compared to the heifers in front of her. And a really cowy, nice one here that's probably just a little bit too green today, but a nice heifer. This heifer down the road could be a good one because she is sound and she has got the overall uh, qualities about her that's going to make her a good cow. Thank you. Another single entry here on the key side, and I think a tremendous uh, uh, cow character in this one. You love her rib cage, you love her skeleton underneath. She's fresh, she's feminine, she's refined, and looks like a female in a good way. Gets out and rolls there in terms of structure with plenty of body. I think the young lady has got a highly presented heifer and doing a great job with her. Congratulations to you. Over in your key show in the South Show Ring, the results coming in from Class 105. First place in your champion junior yearling is entry 1385 from Maggie Holt. At this time within our key show, we will now bring back our division winners, and our judge will select your grand champion and reserve grand champion, Kia Nina Female. The results coming in from Class 101D of your Charlet Heifer Calves. Seventh place, entry 1309 from LZ Thane. Sixth place, Job Knight. Fifth place, 1310 from Fallon Gore. Fourth place, 1318 from Kelly Gaffney. Third place, 1316 from Tatum Carlson. Second place, 1317 from Jenna Talak. And your class winner, entry 1313 from Josie Schrader. In the ring at this time will now be class 101E of Heifer Calves. We have three entries in this class with a date of birth of ranging from January 6th through January 24th of 2023. The three entries in Class 101E are from Avery Sweeney, 
Camille Greer, and Macy Hogue. These are the three entries that will make up your final class within division. Over here on the key side as we get to this drive, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I know we didn't have a tremendous amount of numbers, but I think the quality uh, is obvious out here as we get to looking through them. Uh, I think there's individuals that are certainly uh, competitive uh, with, with higher amount of numbers, and so I uh, commend you juniors for that. Um, I know it wasn't a big show, uh, but it's certainly a pleasure of mine to get to come out and, and judge here at the National Western in Denver and, and up here on the hill. Uh, certainly been a dream of mine. So uh, although it wasn't a big one, uh, it was certainly a pleasure and, and proud that I got the opportunity to do it. Let's go ahead and put our hands together for these juniors and, and their families and everybody that helped them along the way. Uh, I'll go pick your champion, take one more look for reserve. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Your grand champion Kia Nina female comes from your first division. That is going to be your late junior heifer calf champion, entry 1375 from Hadley Dunklout. Rolling into consideration will be entry 1374 from Kinsley Hillbrands. Oh, is that exceptional class? There's three individuals. I think you really have to sit there and evaluate them and just kind of pick the one you like because they're all three deserving of of doing as good as they can in this class. Um, I think we just have a little softer made one that's really flexible on the move. Sometimes she gives me an angle. I'd like to change her knee structure a little bit in front of her, and I think the heifer in second does have that advantage. But this heifer is just a little softer flanked. I like her travel. I like how flexible she is. I really like her hawk and her and then how she drives that on the ground. Just two really high quality heifers. This heifer next probably has a little more overall presence and then she's a little higher in her chest floor. She doesn't have just quite the dimension and softness, but two really high quality individuals. And the heifer in third, she's a long bodied, super striking heifer, has got a lot of presence. She's just a little more, I'd like to see her a little more comfortable in her top. She wants to lift her top a little bit and drop her loin. And I think she's sound in her overall design, but compared to two heifers that are really more comfortable in their top, I'm going to have to put her third today. Thank you. Your reserve grand champion Kia Nina female 
comes from your second division. That is your champion summer yearling entry 1380 from Skylar Coffee. Results coming in out of class 101E of Heifer Cavs within your Charlay show. Third place goes to entry 1322 from Macy Hogue. Second place, entry 1321 from Camille Greer. And your class winner, entry 1319 from Avery Sweeney. At this time, we will now bring back our class winners from the previous classes, and we will have our judge select your champion and reserve champion junior Heifer Cavs. I'd really like to commend these exhibitors. There's a great set of cattle out here. They've done a great job showing them. Just a nice set of cattle. I appreciate every one of them out here, what they've done to come out here and uh, show it a really high level. It's a great set of cattle. I'm not going to talk about these divisions, but I think these are all fundamentally sound cattle with quality. They have enough power. They have enough dimension, and they're going to be a uh, down the road, there's going to be less maintenance on these females because they are built in the right design. Have enough to them, yet they're still feminine and cowy. I'm going to go ahead and pick my champion reserve, but a great set of cattle. Thank you. Your champion junior heifer calf comes out of your last division. That is... Entry 1319 from Avery Sweeney. Your reserve junior heifer calf also comes from that last class. That is going to be entry 1321 from Camille Greer.
Within your Charlay show in the ring at this time is our first class of our senior heifer calf division. We have class 102A. In class 102A, we have a single entry, 1324 from Bracken Thane. Over in our key show, we have now started our key Angus open female show. We have in the ring class 301. 301 will consist of entry 3464 from Baron Strope. This is the only entry within the class, the only class within the division. So first within class 301 will become your champion summer heifer calf. A nice single entry here. This is a really smoothly designed female. She's really good in her shoulder. How her uh, heart comes, her heart girth comes in her shoulder, really long and level in her design. Maybe she could move on a little bit longer stride. But this is a super nice heifer and a single class. Thank you. The results coming out of class 102A of your Charlay show. First place entry 1324 from Bracken Thane. We will clear out the ring and bring up now class 102B of senior heifer calves. This is the last class within the division of seniors. We have in this class three entries, one entry from Lena Johnson, an entry from Brixton Steve Birchke, and entry 1330 from Sutton Hill. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, certainly an honor and a privilege to be here this morning to sort through your open uh, Key and Key Angus show here this morning. But uh, got a really nice individual out here to start our Key Angus show off here, this Mayborn Heifer. I, I love her added stoutness and power. This female is just so overwhelming there. And you, you study this female in terms of her four rib shape and her center rib and body. I love that shape and that female. I love the stoutness and power and the quality this female just exemplifies there from the side. Really nice single entry here to go ahead and start our Key Angus show. Congratulations. Your results for class 301 within your open Key Angus female show. First place entry 3464 and your champion summer heifer calf comes from Baron Strope. At this time we will now bring into the ring class 302. These are Key Angus females calved of April 2023. We have three entries slated for class 302. We have an entry from Braden Smalley, Raymond Benneker, and Elliston Morey. These will be the three entries within Class 302. Class 302 is the only class within the division, so therefore first and second within Class 302 becomes your champion and reserve champion late junior heifer calves.
a nice trio of Kiangas females here on the Kiangas side, and I like the cattle the way they came in. Young man's female is going to go ahead and start. She just offers the most in terms of quality of look and balance and type and kind that I like to see from the profile. That female's awesome there in terms of the shape to her head and the shape to her neck. I love how she transitions into her body cavity there. She's so proportional there in terms of her depth. Has a tremendous amount of width and dimension of muscle. I'm not going to call her structure 100 out here today. For me, she needs to be more comfortable there and relaxing her spine, and I I think that kind of correlates to her angles about her blade and she needs to be more flexible out of her front end skeleton when we ask the cattle to get out and go. Young man, I like your stoutness and power in this female. We need to get back to raising cattle that have this extra stoutness and power in these females in terms of stoutness out through their hip, width out through their pins. This female is so stout featured there at the surface as well. I'd like to elevate this one up front if we could ever so slightly. She wants to run downhill ever, ever so slightly here at the profile. There's maybe a female there for me. I'd just like to see her be a shot softer, more practical there through her rear, rear rib and flank. But a female's got a tremendous amount of power about her. Young lady, I like this female here coming next in terms of her look and style from the side. So elegant and ladylike there up front. I love her smoothness and how she transitions from front to rear from the profile. It's going to be stepping behind the cattle. I wish there was just simply more of her. She tapers too much in terms of her width out through her pins. I wish she was a shot more open there in terms of her chest width as well. A nice trio of females there in our Key Angus class. Congratulations. That's another nice class I have for some. I think it's a pretty difficult decision on the top pair. You have one that's more feminine, has a little more look and design to her. I really like her presence out here, and she has a really cow look to her. I like the rib shape in her. I would like to maybe improve her foot shape a little bit, and that is the advantage of the second place heifer, where she's just got a little more solid foot, foot in her, has a little more heel, and I like the rib shape and power of this heifer. She doesn't have quite the, the look and presence and female look about her head and neck as the heifer that wins it. I think it's a close pair of two very nice females. The heifer coming out next, she's a really attractive one. You really like her through her chest floor and how she comes out in her front end. She's just a little tighter in her overall design, both in her rib cage and in her structure, but certainly a nice heifer. Another single entry here on the Kianga sign. I like just the added look and presence in this female from the profile. I like the way her neck sets on the top side of her blade and how she transitions down her top line. Really long and level and square made out through her hooks to her pins. And I like her added just squareness and, and how genuine she is when he's setting behind the cattle. I need to change this one up there front there for me just ever so slightly. I'd like to see her be a shot more comfortable in the set to her knee, make her more appropriate in the little slope and angles about her shoulder. But a nice profile female there for the young lady. Congratulations. Your results within your Charlet show. Your results coming in for class 102B. Third place goes to entry 1328 from Lana Johnson. Second place, entry 1329 from Brixton Birchke. And your class winner, entry 1330 from Sutton Hill. At this time, within our Charlet show, we will bring back our class winners from 102A and 102B. Our judge will select your champion, senior heifer calf. Over in your key Angus open show, your results coming in out of class 303. First place, entry 3468, and your champion early junior heifer calf goes to entry 3468 from McKinsey Klimkowski. In the ring at this time is now class 304. This is entry 3469, also from McKinsey Klimkowski. We're in the fall division here. There's some nice cattle out here. I'm going to like to commend these young exhibitors. There's some young kids out here that are taking some pretty big, powerful heifers in the spotlight in front of everyone, and uh, they're doing a really nice job. I think there's two, really he two heifers here that kind of stick together, and I'm going to make those your champion and reserve in this division. But it's a nice uh, set of kids. They're doing a good job out here. Just another single entry here on the Key Angus side, a summer born female here that, uh, man, she's overwhelming there in terms of power and mass and you step in behind her. I love her width up over her top side of her skeleton and her stoutness out through her pins, maintains that base width when you ask the cattle to go away from you. Female that's still good in there in terms of her lines and her strength on her top line. She maybe wants to labor and nickel out of her front end when we ask the cattle to get out and go, but a really high quality female there that's got some extra stoutness and substance. Congratulations. 
Within your Charlet show, your champion senior heifer calf goes to entry 1330 from Sutton Hill. Your reserve senior heifer calf champion goes to entry 1329 from Brixton Birchkey. At this time within our Charlet show, we will bring up our intermediate division. Intermediate division will start with class 103A of summer yearling heifers. We will have two entries within this class. We'll have an entry from Charlie Spindle and Fallon Gore. Those are the two entries that will make up class 103A. Over to your open key Angus female show. Your results coming out of class 304 in first place in your champion summer yearling is entry 3469 from Mackenzie Klimkowski. At this time in the ring, we now have our division winners returning for our judge to select your grand champion and reserve grand champion key Angus females. Well, not a lot of numbers here in our Key Angus show, but I think we definitely got some quality here with all these class winners and the respective seconds when we get them back out here in this lineup. A nice set of cattle here from top to bottom, and uh, I'll briefly describe them to you. The young lady's older summer heifer out of that last class there. I think she's a really stout, powerful maid female there. I love her width and dimension, just her added substance that she has. I wish she was a shot more comfortable out of her front end building and skeleton when we ask the cattle to get out and go. She needs to offer a shot more reach and flexibility there, but you got to admire that female just in terms of her stoutness and power and mass that she offers. I like the look and balance here in this female directly in front of me out of the third class and, and that female is so good in there in terms of her lines and her balance and just her quality there in terms of her look. At times, like we said, she wants to labor, excuse me, she wants to kind of lay a little forward there about her blade. I like to relax her in a set to her knee as well and probably when you step into cattle out here, I just simply wish there was more of her. I wish she was a shot wider in terms of her skeletal width all the way through. For me, it kind of comes down to these front two uh, class winners here for champ and reserve here out here here within your uh, Key Angus show, and I think both these females exemplify a tremendous amount of quality. I think these cattle read very similar yet in terms of their type and kind. I think both cattle are awesome there in terms of their fore rib shape, how they transition into their center body. I love the cattle there in terms of their stoutness and power and how genuine they are down, to, down their top line in terms of their width behind their blades, stoutness out through their hip. There's maybe some slight, slight subtle differences in the, in the cattle, the young man's heifer here out of the second class. I think she uh, appears to be more attracted there in the set to her hip and hind leg. I like that female's just look and balance and quality there at the stand. She probably has the upper hand in the way her neck sits on the top side of her blade, her length and just her feminine quality in terms of the shape to her head and the shape to her neck. I love that female's balance and look there from the side. When we ask the cattle to get out and go, she maybe wants to labor a nickel there for me out of her front end build. I wish she was a shot more comfortable there in terms of her spine right behind her blade when we ask the cattle to get out and go. And that all kind of correlates in terms of her angles and how they're a shot more elevated there about her shoulder, but man, that's a really nice, really striking female that in terms of her look and balance from the side, I love how much power and width and mass she has when you step behind the cattle. The female out of the first class, I just like her kind in terms of you start you use a female at the surface, she's big footed, she's heavy structured, and it matches her body type. That female's awesome there in terms of her fore rib shape, awesome in terms of her body, like I stated earlier here. That female still gives you a nice balanced look there from the side, kind of like the female there directly behind her. She's a bit more upright about her angles, about her shoulder as well. I wish she was a shot truer and squarer from knee to ground, and her knee, her neck maybe just doesn't sit quite as uh, attractive there on the top side of her blade as the female directly behind them. That's the subtle differences between the two. I think they're both extremely high quality females out here within this lineup of cattle for your Key Angus show. Let's give these exhibitors a nice round of applause. I'll get you a champion reserve out division. Congratulations. There's two powerful females out here that have a lot of mass. They have a lot of quality. 
and there's some differences in their structure. I really like the female that starts this class, even though the one in second definitely has some advantages in my mind. But the biggest difference I see is just behind her shoulder how, when she travels and how flexible she is in her top and how soft she is in her forerib. The heifer in second is certainly, uh, heifer's got as much shape. She's a little higher in her chest floor. I just like to see this heifer stronger behind her shoulder, and I do appreciate she has more udder development at this age. I think she's a little further along in her breeding. She's just a little uncomfortable in her top today, but two very high quality females that have a lot of mass, they have a lot of power, yet they still got look and presence. Two good ones, I think. Your results from class 103A of your Charlay show. Second place entry 1284 from Charlie Spindle. First place goes to entry 1334 from Fallon Gore. In the ring at this time will now be coming in class 103B of summer yearling heifers. Within this class we will have three entries. We'll have an entry from Kix Lee, Tannen Grigg, and Cashlin Krebs. Over in your open Key Angus female show, your grand champion, Key Angus female, comes from your late junior heifer calf division that is entry 3465 from Braden Smalley. Your reserve grand champion, Key Angus female, comes from the first division, which was your summer heifer calf division that is entry 3464 from Baron Stroke. I really appreciate the cow design of this female that wins this class. You know, some people may want one that's a little stouter, a little more dimension to her hip and her stifle, but this is a super sound, cowy, broody one that has a lot of look and presence, the way her neck comes out of the top of her shoulder, and she's just fundamentally correct in all the angles you look at her. A really nice heifer. The heifer in second is certainly a little stronger top. She's probably a little better at her pin placing, but when she gets out on the move, she doesn't have the length of spine, the length of her front end, just the overall dimensions in the right directions for me, but a good female in her own right. I do appreciate the stoutness in her. And one thing I would like to say is I really like these females coming out with not a bunch of glue and paint on their udders. These females are bred. They're showing some udder like they should be, and I like to see that. It makes them look like females out there because that's what they are. They're big bred heifers. They should have some udder. They should have some teat design. And I really like the way those heifers were presented in that respect. This is a nice heifer here. I just think she gets a little outpowered today. I'd like to see her maybe on a little longer stride, but it's a good female. I just like to see her a little more flexible in her design. Thank you. Results for class 103B of Charlay's. Third place entry 1338 from Tana Grigg. Second place, entry 1339 from Cashlin Krebs. 
and your class winner entry 1335 from Kicks Lee. At this time, we will now bring back our class winners from 103 A and B, and our judge will select your champion intermediate heifers. Well, I may sound like a broken record out here, but once again, I'd really like to say how much I appreciate these young exhibitors, not only their professionalism out there and the quality of which they're showing these animals, but most importantly, the quality of cattle they're bringing out. This is a really nice set of big breads here. I'm going to pick your champion in reserve, but uh, I do think that these kids should get a lot of appreciation for the job they're doing. Thank you. Your champion intermediate heifer comes from class 103A, that is entry 1334, excuse me, 1335 from Kicks Lee. Your reserve is entry 1334 from Fallon Gore. In the ring at this time for your Charlotte show is now your junior division. We have in the ring class 104A of junior yearling heifers. Class 104A will consist of entries from Madeline Rohr, Anna Link, Cashlyn Krebs, McKenna Tucker, and Jenna Talak. These will be the five entries that will make up class 104A, the first class of our junior yearling heifer division.
We welcome everybody back over in our South Show ring to our open Kia Nina female show. In the ring at this time is class 101 of key females. These were females born of April 2023. We have two entries in this class. We have an entry from Colton Wynn and Morgan Baker. As we move into our key show here on the key side, a nice uh, pair of females here to go ahead and start off this class. I like the cattle the way they came in, and uh, the female that's going to start the class off here for me is just simply more of her. I think she's better there in terms of her body and her balance in terms of her look. I love this one's strength down her top line, her squareness and levelness out through her rump. She's stouter and wider there out through her pins and her, as well. Maybe a female that's a little bit coarser about her shoulder wants to get outside of herself there up front when we ask the cattle to get out and go. Young ladies, female here coming in too. I like the youthfulness in this female. I like the extra, how lean she is there yet in terms of her condition. She's still honest there in terms of her body and her rib shape. Need to change this one out of her hip and hind leg if we could. Just like the lengthen her from hooks to pins. I'd like to see that female be a shot more comfortable out of her rear skeleton when we ask the cattle to go out and lead. Nice pair of females there. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, I think this is a really high quality class. There's two very exceptional females to start this class, and I think they're more alike than they are dissimilar in that they're both cowy, they're sound, they have a lot of presence out here. I like the lower rib shape and the heifer that wins this class. I really like her flexibility on the move, but she's got a tremendous amount of balance for me. Like I said, I think she's a little softer in her lower rib shape and in her forerib and how she puts her forerib and her top into her shoulder, but just a super nice female that puts a lot of good things together. The heifer in seconds, probably a little bigger, higher performance heifer. I really like her strength at top and her lines and her pin placement. This is a really good one. I think those two heifers fit together very nicely. I think there's a really intriguing one here in third because this one brings a lot to the table. I think if she was a little more comfortable in her travel today, she could probably play because this heifer has some breeding pieces that a lot of people can take advantage of. This is a really good female. I just like to see her be a little more comfortable in her stride, but this one has a lot to offer in terms of breeding potential. And I'd like to say the same thing about the next heifer. This heifer hits you hard when she comes in the ring. She's just, maybe she's a little sore footed today, but this is a really high quality female that just needs to travel out a little better. And then we have a really big stout one here. I gotta really appreciate the top and dimension and shape to her. I just don't think she has quite the femininity and cow look as some of the ones in front of her, but a really nice set of heifers, thank you. Your results for class 104A of your Charlays. Fifth place, 1344 from McKenna Tucker. Fourth place, entry 1341 from Anna Link. Third place, 1343 from Cashlin Krebs. Second place, entry 1340 from Madeline Rohr. And your class winner, entry 1345 from Jenna Talak. At this time, we will now bring into the Charlay Show Ring Class 104B. These are still junior yearling heifers. We have two entries in this class. Entry 1349 from Peyton Gall and entry 1350 from Jenna Talak. Over in your show ring for your keys, your results from Class 101. Second place, entry 3478 from Morgan Baker. Your class winner was Colton Wynn. In the ring at this time is now class 102 of Kia Nina females. These females were calved March of 2023. We have three entries in this class. Entries consist from Josie Wilkins, Hadley Dunklau, and Kinsley Hillbrands. A trio of good uh, key heifers here on the key side, and I really like the one that wins this class, and wins this class rather handily for me. Uh, man, that one's just so good there in terms of her look and balance from the side, but yet what I love about this one in terms of her body shape is so, so good, and her fore rib shape and just her boldness and roundness to the curvature to her rib. Her balance in terms of her depth is very proportional. I love that about that female. You set him behind the cattle, and she's ultra surprising in terms of how much stoutness and power and true wit that female has in terms of a hook from her hooks to her pins. I like that female a great deal. 
gets out and moves extremely well. Really nice place to start. Young lady, you got a good heifer here in two, and I love just the added depth and softness and the shape to the rib of this female here coming next. She's a big footed, heavier structured female out here that handles her hip and hind leg very good when we ask the cattle to get out and go. I guess up front there for me, I'd like to change this female. She wants to twist out ever so slightly, wants to come in there at her knee. And I wish this female as much body and depth and softness she shows from the side. I set behind the cattle. I wish she was a shot wider and more opened up in terms of her skeletal width all the way through. Young lady, I like this female here a great deal. Her, her build and structure is truly awesome out here. I love her look, I love her balance. Young lady, you just keep feeding that one. She's gonna be a great one there long term. She just gives up too much body and softness and practicality there in terms of her body and her rib cage. But man, that female structure and her build, she's got a really bright future there for you. Congratulations, nice trio of heifers. Over here on this side of the ring, um, I think once again, it's a really nice pair of heifers. I mean, I think this one structurally and how she travels is really nice. I mean, she wants to go out here. She's got flex to her hawk and pastern. I like her knee set. She's very comfortable in her own skin out here. Is there deeper centered, soggier made one? Sure, but she's really good in her design. I just like this heifer a lot just for just femininity, the cow look to her, and just her overall design and structure. The heifer in seconds, exceptional. This heifer is big top, she has more shape and dimension to her hip and, at her, and width at her pins and the heifer that beats her. She's just a little more open in her shoulder and just doesn't have that flex and move on the go. But this is a really good high quality heifer. Thank you. Your results for your Charlay show. Class 104B, second place, 1349 from Peyton Gall. Your class winner, entry 1350 from Jenna Talak. At this time, we will now bring in the ring class 104C. This is the last class within the junior yearling division. We'll have entries from Kinsley Altnia, Easton Paul Hill, and we will have entries from 1354 of Kelly Gaffney and Tatum Carlson. Over within your open Kia Nina female show, we have in the ring our class winners from 101 and 102. Our judge is going to give us reasons as to which two are his champion and reserve champion late junior heifer calves. Really good division over here on the key side, and uh, I like these both these class winners a great deal. They're both cattle that are just so honest and genuine there in terms of their body shape. I love cattle when we step in behind them that are so square and genuine down their top line. They progressively get wider from the hooks to pins. Cattle that have just some natural base width to them, but yet when we look at them from the side, they're still very ladylike there in terms of their look. We're still in a show ring setting. We need cattle that are elite and offer some extra presence and look, and I think there's a heifer out here that just offers the upper hand in that young lady class silver division champion out here i think it gets really close out here for reserve out here within this division young lady you can bring that heifer out here i think it gets a little closer out here for me but i think there's one that just sip fits my uh, division winner in terms of added stru uh, added structural integrity out through her hip and hind leg cattle that have some extra width and stoutness and and just extra muscle all the way through young man out of class one will be reserved in this division congratulations your champion late junior heifer calf is entry 3483 from hadley dunklau and your reserve late junior heifer calf comes from class 101. That is entry 3477 from Colton Wynn. Within your Kia Nina female show, we will now move on to class 104. Class 104 will be key females calved April of 2022. We have a single entry within class 104. The entry will be 3488 from Colton Wynn. This is the only animal within class 104, the only class within the division. So your first place from class 104 will become your champion late spring yearling female. It was a challenging class for me because uh, all these heifers have a lot of good pieces, but to find the one that really puts it all together to the highest degree, you know, it's a little more challenging. The heifer I'm starting with, I would like to see her move better and I'd like to see her more flexible on her top. 
but her overall quality, balance, shape, and dimension, and especially what she can do down the road, and that she's a little more moderate in her size. You know, she's probably going to be a lower maintenance female if she keeps her structural integrity together. Would like to see her move better, but still a high quality female. There's a big, long one that's really extended through her front, front end in, her, in the second place. And she is nice in her design. I just think she's just a little too flat ribbed and a little too big for me today. And um, compared to the flesh, the, the body and the softness of rib of the heifer in front of her. The heifer here, you know, this is a stout one and you gotta, you gotta appreciate the muscle shape in her. I would just like to see a little more quality about her head and neck, but this heifer's still got a lot of breeding potential and this young lady should be proud of her. Thank you. Another single entry here on the key sign and young man's got a nice female here and I like her added moderation and just her doability there in terms of her body cavity. I like this female's just strength on her top line and length out to her hip. You know that female could be a shot softer, more practical there out to her rear rib and flank, but a female that's got a lot of good to her and some doability there for the young man. Make a nice brood cow prospect there for him. Congratulations. The results for class 104 of key females, first place and your champion late spring yearling is entry 3488 from Colton Wynn. Within our Kia Nina female show, we will now bring up class 105. Class 105 will have a single entry, entry 3489 from Maggie Holt. This entry is the only entry within the class and the only class in the division. So therefore first place for class 105 will become your champion junior yearling. Results for your Charlet show. Results from class 104C in third place, entry 1355 from Tatum Carlson. Second place, entry 1354 from Kelly Gaffney. And your class winner, entry 1352 from Kinsley Altina. In the ring at this time, now for your Charlet show is all of your class winners returning for our judge to select your champion and reserve champion junior heifers. Over here in the key side, just another single entry here, but uh, man, you got to admire the volume and the power in this uh, big bread heifer here, and I love the body shape and just the volume and the extra capacity in this female. She's got a tremendous amount of width and dimension, and I love her, her strength down her hip. I love her levelness and squareness out and how attractive she is out through her hip and her hind leg. I think a really nice female there that just has screaming brood cow fundamentals all over. I love that female's just type and kind and just her added volume and capacity out here. Congratulations, young lady. Nice female. Your results over in your Kia Nina female show, your champion junior yearling and first place from class 105 is entry 3489 from Maggie Holt. At this time within your key show, we will now bring back our division winners and our judge will select your grand champion and reserve grand champion Kia Nina females. Well, this is a testament to the breed of how good these females are and how relevant this breed is in the beef industry because these cattle are maternal in their design, yet they have shape, they have muscle, they have performance that complements the rest of the beef breed at such a high level. I really like these females out here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a champion reserve in this division, but I'm highly impressed with what I'm seeing out here, thanks. Your champion junior yearling Charlay Heifer comes out of class 104B. That is entry 1350 from Jenna to Locke. Your reserve champion comes out of class 104A. That is entry 1345 from Jenna to Locke.
a little over here in our key side, we're picking our champion female here, and I, I think an outstanding lineup of cattle out here. I know we didn't have a lot of numbers in your show, but man, the depth and quality in all these classes have been just tremendous out here, and uh, a lot of quality in these cattle, and the key, the key breed's been, been known to have a tremendous amount of quality in these female shows, and it definitely is shown out here within this lineup. So with that being said, I'm not going to go back and describe any of these cattle to you. I've done that enough here this morning. You guys have heard me talk enough here about these cattle here. I think there's just a couple, there's a pair of females out here for me. That have, that have the extra longevity in terms of structural build and correctness, extra look in, in terms of type and kind from the profile that I like, that, that we select for back at home, but yet they're cattle that still have some practicality, doability there in terms of body and rib and, and muscle and volume all the way through. So I think there's a female that just simply ups the ante out here for me and takes it to another level in terms of quality, of look, and balance from the side, and I think we got an awesome pro cow prospect here to go reserve. So I'll select the two that I like out here in this division. Again, let's give these exhibitors a nice round of applause. Congratulations. Your grand champion Kia Nina female comes from your first division. That is your champion from the late junior heifer calf division. That is entry 3483 from Hadley Dunklau. Your reserve grand champion comes out of your last division. That is your champion junior yearling. That is entry 3489 from Maggie Holt. In your Charlet show ring, we have our first and only class within our senior division. This is class 105. We have entry 1356 from Reagan Dunn. Here's a powerful senior yearling here. This heifer is, this cow is soggy, she's deep. She moves around the ring nice and she's got a really nice bull calf on her. I'd like to see her out here with the rest of them. This is a good one and a testament to not only production but quality to go along with it. Thank you. Your results for Class 105 of Charlay's first place, entry 1356 from Reagan Dunn. That also becomes your champion senior heifer. At this time, within our Charlay show, we will now bring back all of our division winners. Our judge will now select our grand champion and reserve grand champion Charlay heifers. So coming into the ring for our Charlays will be our champion junior heifer calf. That is entry 1319 from Avery Sweeney. Your champion senior heifer calf, entry 1330 from Sutton Hill. Your champion intermediate heifer is entry 1335 from Kix Lee. Your champion junior heifer is entry 1350 from Jenna Talak. And your champion senior heifer is entry 1356 from Reagan Dunn. These are the champions in consideration for your grand champion, Charlay Heifer. The reserves coming back from their respective divisions, we will have entry 1321 from Camille Greer, entry 1329 from Brigston Birchke, entry 1334 from Fallon Gore, entry 1345 from Jenna Talak, and those will be the second place reserve champions coming in for the reserve grand champion consideration for our Charlay Heifer here at the National Western. Our judge for this year's show has been Mr. Hampton Cornelius of Coyote Ridge Ranch of LaSalle, Colorado. We appreciate him taking time to evaluate this year's percentage and purebred Charlay Junior Heifer shows here at the National Western.
Well, uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to the Charlet Association and the National Western Stock Show for allow allowing me to have the what I would call the privilege of evaluating these cattle, because it is a privilege and it is an honor. It's been a great set of uh, young exhibitors out here. And uh, you look at what's going on in the world today, and especially the United States, you know, there's problems in this country, but the problems aren't in this ring. This is what's right about this country, and I'm proud to be a cattle producer. I'm proud to have raised a son that was in the junior programs because this is what's right with this country the quality the the future of the cattle industry is right out here and i'd just like to thank every one of these young exhibitors for putting their best foot forward sometimes you win sometimes you lose but we're all a family you know i had a really good friend lose his father on show day today in denver but we're gonna all pull together because we are family. And we gotta remember that, that, I mean, we're all competitive. We all wanna win. We have different sets of cattle. We look at them differently. But as an industry, no matter what breed you're in, and especially we should encourage these young exhibitors to maybe do a little less complaining about someone that beats them, maybe learn how to be their friend. Because we are family and uh, it's been an emotional week for me because of what happened to my best friend's dad, but great set of cattle, great set of people out here, and thank you for giving me the privilege to evaluate these cattle. Thank you. And uh, with that speech, I'm going to give a champion in reserve. Thank you. Your grand champion, Charlay Heffer, comes from your junior division. That is entry 1350 from Jenna to Locke. Rolling into consideration will be the reserve from that division. That is entry 1345, also from Jenna to Locke. Your reserve grand champion, Charlay Heffer, comes from the third division, which is your intermediate Heffer champion. That is entry 1335 from Kix Lee. We appreciate our exhibitors and spectators of our Charley Junior shows. Today here at the National Western, that does conclude the activities for our Charley show. We do still have some classes to get to over in our Key Angus and Key Anina show. We do have our bulls still yet to evaluate. So once our exhibitors are done at the backdrop, we will get started with our Key Angus and Key Anina shows. So don't go anywhere.